can you guys give us like a play-by-play -play of what happened? It all just seemed to happen so quickly. You think quickly. we remember? <laughs> ah! Ah! Listen, know, when, the, remember, when, when the sh** goes down like that, okay? It's too fast. It's in the blink Everything of an eye. Everything becomes a ton like it's tunnel a blur. vision. But everything is so jumbled in your head because it's real. This is not scripted. If it was scripted, we could turn around and say, yes, when Jennifer got done saying that, Teresa said this. Right. This is then now... We, then we would know play by play. Yeah. <laughs> we were all like in a cluster. Yes. And there was a lot of... And we were all like just kind of going at each other, like backing our mm -hmm. friends up and backing each other up. It got to a level she, she, that it got ugly where it was no but longer she like... she came in hot and heavy. Wait, what's happening right now? I thought we were having a nice shopping event. You don't need to shut her down, I'm Melissa, just, just because you're team that. Margaret. Right. She came in looking for, I think, a physical Listen, altercation. Listen, from the second she was ready to go from, like, the second we walked in the door. Yeah, she came in calling me trout mouth. Trout mouth. <laughs> you know, I might have said a lot of insults to her. I never insult the way she looked or anything like that. I wasn't going to go as low as her. And so if your titties. You okay. should get them done. Oh, what is oh, that? I that? She kept coming into my personal space. You know, nose to nose. Yeah. I couldn't get her away from it me. It looked like she was ready to scrap, like on the playground. Like I was yes. like, where are we? What's happening so right she, now? I kept backing up and she kept coming into my space. So I did pour the water on her, like to like, hopefully she would melt. She was coming in to hit me for a fact. And I, the best thing to do is like get someone away from you. And there was no way for me to get her away from me. She That's, tried to burn her purse. Yes. That but, was like, but, everything happened fast, but that was like slow motion. Oh it was yeah. like, my God. Is this your purse? <laughs> I'm like, I should stop her right now. Yes. Oh God, we were all like, Valentino. wait, it's Valentino. <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh, I was like, let her do it. She's on bath salts. I don't want to go near her. She starts shoving her credit cards, her phone, and everything. Now, Margaret sees that blind stare in Danielle's. Danielle's now has left the room. And Margaret stood behind the couch and let her destroy her property when I would have jumped over the couch, but that's okay. <laughs> I thought that would be the end of it. I just can't help myself. She says, I can't help myself. And I does can't it. help myself. And that just shows how it was premeditated and she was plotting it. And who does that? I just can't help myself. I mean, does that not show how maniacal and sick she is? We were cleaning it up. I was bent over and that coward snake came from behind and, and pulled my ponytail, and I mean, you could still survive, thank the Lord, you know, the ponytail survived, but she could have broken my neck. She snapped my neck. No, that was rough. She came in, she pretty much sucker punched her, only yes. she pulled her hair, and it was like very unexpected. It was well after the argument no was over. No one saw it coming. But I do think that Danielle came in with a vendetta. She was ready to go. I think Danielle was ready to rumble. Yes, and I wasn't ready to rumble. I was just coming in with my facts. You know, like a prosecuting attorney. But if somebody and then, then she shoved the person. Oh, if someone poured water on me, it would not be I'm, good. I'm telling the truth. Like, Be obviously, fair, she Teresa. was, like, looking for a fight herself because who... I mean, Margaret did the first punch. Uh, you know, Margaret obviously came looking for a fight. So, Margaret, how was your whiplash? Um, I'm going to be honest, I had to go to the chiropractor a lot of times after that. I had to get x-rays. I was taking medication. They wanted me to wear a neck brace. I was like, this is nonsense. I felt okay that night because I didn't have the residual effects. But you know, like in a whiplash, you feel it the next day. So it was like as bad as having a car accident. She was really physically, she was hurting physically and Shake. mentally shaky. Shook up. And when we were talking about it, she, she went through the whole thing. The first time she went through it, she started crying again. I woke up the next day, my head was pounding, I couldn't move my neck. And when I went to the doctor the next day, they're like, like she could have snapped your neck. That's how hard she pulled it. So she was just really, really violent. She wasn't gonna let go. The security had to pull her off. The redeeming thing is the weave was in very tight. It's unbelievable, that's what I was saying. And she got me from behind. She was really, really shaken that anyone would go so far as to assault someone else, especially in a public place. It's crazy. And these, these are people who, all these girls are, were friends, are and were friends. You were very upset yeah, that that happened. Really and you were very out. embarrassed also that yes. you were involved in that. I was embarrassed. That is not something, I mean, I've never hit my kids. My mother never hit me. I've never hit anybody. No, I don't think I've ever seen you so upset. I think I texted she you twice so in the car that because night just to make sure you were okay. I was mortified to the fact is I was like, I don't know people like this. This is not my world. And I was just like, why is she even associated with us?
This is not the type of person that we need around. It's, it's very unattractive. Listen, as much as it goes on between the girls and everything else and the fighting and the drama and, and screaming, and, you know, throwing things, I want you to cross the line to like a physical assault, you know? March had never been in a fight in her life. Oh my God. So that's... It's pretty bad. Yeah, no, it was pretty... Took me it's back. A, it's a complete loss of control. Now, you looked great at the shopping event. Thank but you. Thank you. In this case, would pigtails might have helped? Yes, I mean, by the way, pigtails would have definitely, she couldn't come she behind and grab get the one pigtails. Side. Maybe she would have grabbed both, though, and pulled me back, like a little, like handlebars on a bicycle, like popped a wheelie. You don't know. What do you think about Teresa throwing the water on Jennifer to prove a point? <laughs> I mean, I think you're comparing apples to oranges. Oh my God! Oh my God! Do you like that? Do you not like just that? Do you, do you like that? She was trying to prove her point. Oh, you would get mad. They weren't in an argument. Teresa was being dramatic, and you know she has a hard time, you know, making analogies. I was like pissed when I got hit at your a fashion little. show. There yeah. was no point in doing it. Right. I was just like, oh come on, we're not gonna side check this and make it about like who's throwing the water. Like I, I just really wanted it to be a solid night about like business and what I was trying to do here. And I was a little annoyed when I heard that they were like, yeah. we're trying to prove points with water. I knew as soon as Teresa walked through that door, what we were in for. She came in with both barrels loaded. I don't know what happened before she got there. I think she was riled up. It was a heavy time, a lot going on in her house with her kids, a lot going on in her life financially with the, with the lawyer fees and the bills and Joe calling and kids fighting and father being sick. And now on top of this, she was just ready to let loose on somebody. And honestly, like when we were at the bar, I just kept telling her, like, stop talking about the water. Um, Nobody I cares actually, about the right. water. So while it's I was only water. There, and then she spilled it on me. That's why I left you there, because I said, oh, she's going to learn. No, I don't it's like it. Oh my God! It's only water. It's only red. Only red. Oh my God! <laughs> it was like, bitch, I'm mad. Hello, yes, I'm mad. Okay, now you can get mad at water because it was all over, and you know, you get that like. It was distracting. Yeah, I don't like that so much. And I was yeah. like, just it's a very uncomfortable feeling when your clothes are wet and now stick to you. So you know, my underwear got wet. I Somebody's mean, this is emotional. like yeast infection. Emotions risk, right? don't travel I was in not rational comfortable. channels. I would never want you to have a yeast infection. I mean, I'm, I was all wet. I'm just saying, and not in a good way. Yeah, There's I just thought I could tell, like, to, like, like let it go, Trey. Like, enough with the water. Nobody cares about yes, water. But but, Ron, but they it's, do. It's I, I care. Timing is I definitely care. And, and like I'm sitting there the whole time, I'm watching people going up and down the the stage, I and I'm like, I, I want to change my underwear clothes. right now. Melissa Gorga would have had a part with one of her size two f***ing outfits. I said, damn, bitch, proved a point. <laughs> now, Dolores, you call this old school stripper fighting. What is old school stripper fighting? <laughs> Because you get in a fight with a stripper, don't turn your back on her. She's not done with you. She said, watch your back. That's old school stripper fighting. That's what that is. I mean, you can call it stripper fighting. I call it like old school Jersey Shore. Like my sister used to say, I broke my nails all off tonight on this girl's head. <laughs> like, you really, like, pull, take the hoops yeah. off, like break your nails, pull the hair. It's not really like a, you know, you're not going pound for pound, but you're going to ruffle their feathers a little bit. In the olden days, all right, when you go to a strip club, strippers are always getting in fight with one another. All right, usually it's over, okay, whose customer that was, or anything else. And the first thing they do is they go for the hair. All right, they go for the hair, they pull the hair. But now, unfortunately, you pull the hair, all right, and the hair comes off. All right, back then, you had a whole head of hair, you hold somebody, they can't get away. Watch hair didn't come out. Yeah, you know, you know, thank so, God. So, so, thank you. Cost a lot of money for those weaves. I think it's like pulling hair and smacking. It's like when you pull hair and one's going like oh, this. Oh, this is something else. I've been this in is, it before. This is, I got you back. Don't ever turn your back on an old stripper. You know, I got your back. You poured yeah, water on like, me. Mm -hmm. It's not over. Don't turn your back. She turned her back and then she was going to finish her off. So that's what old school stripper fighting is, all right? I don't know if Margaret's had that much experience with strippers. I have. <laughs> oh, my God. Frank. You went to the Envy Fashion Show with Dolores because David was unavailable. Does this happen a lot? Yes. Happens quite often, all right? David's profession, and he's very, very good at it. So there's a lot of times you can make plans, and those plans are canceled. Hello, doctor. I didn't hey. know you were coming. Hey. Good to see I you. didn't know he was Surprise. coming. Oh, so we're even oh, more. I'm like the, what do they call it? Not the, I'm like the substitute. You're the fill-in. The fill-in? 
I don't want to be more than a fill-in. How about a, they, Well, you are. You're not called a fill-in teacher. A substitute. Give me at least a substitute. Okay, you're a substitute. I'm like the substitute. Ah, that's all right. You know, if it makes Dolores happy, you know what I'm saying? That's it. If it wasn't for me, then Dolores had to go by herself, all right? And David feels perfectly okay with me going, rather than Dolores going with some other guy. I mean, that sounds weird. A lot of people don't understand that, you know? That he's perfectly okay with the ex-husband taking her out. You know, because that's where we are, you know? Who knows? So we hear the reason he wasn't at the Envy Fashion Show was that he was at sniper school? Oh, that was the week? It's a sniper school that weekend? So wait, David didn't want to come? He's going to sniper school. Sniper school? That's a new thing? Yeah. Hello? Like, sniper school? How about relationship school? Oh my god, I thought it was because it's business. Oh, see, they don't tell me because then I get mad. Oh, are you serious? I don't know. Sniper school. David went to sniper school for a weekend, which I can't understand, all right? You're a high-risk pregnancy doctor. I don't know how you're gonna have to shoot your patients from 400 feet away. Listen, David likes guns. David likes motorcycles. It's David's hobby, and if that's what makes him happy, all right? How do you feel him switching out the Envy Fashion Show for the sniper school? Oh, that I didn't, that's it, that's different now, all right? He's lucky Dolores didn't go to sniper school, let's put it that way, all right? Otherwise, coming down the street, she'd shoot him. see something in the Easter episode. Um, it's Nono goes into the refrigerator and just drinks hot sauce for right. a second. <laughs> Is that something he does a lot? All the time. Okay. All right, I'll make the ham. He swallows things, all the red vinegar. He'll just open the thing and just drink the red vinegar, hot pepper juice. He believes it cures all sickness and illness when he does this, so. Oh, so he's doing this as like a remedy. Um, not really. He enjoys it. He feels like it gives him a little sun. He goes, ah, ah, feels good. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> we were wondering. Maybe. We were wondering what yeah. that was. He, he says it, it kills all the germs. Okay. Yeah. Is this anything you ever heard of, either of you? No. no I mean, but listen, I mean, maybe <laughs> he's on to something. He might be on to something. Their own. He goes in and out of the hospital all the time, a couple times a year, with pneumonia and it's sad and it's scary every single time, but he always comes out of it. And, you know, he has his like machines and his stuff. I mean, his lungs are not the best. He always, you know, he fights, he fights off sickness a lot. 